take it about a place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see it inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying is you can do it I wanna hear you say Everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm coming to you today with this cute little Valentine's card. I absolutely love it. I love the way it came out. It, um, I just like it a lot. And we are again using the same stamp set that I've been showing you my Valentine's card in with the PS I Love You. And this is on the clearance rack right now at Stamping Up. And um, you know they have tons of stuff over there so I would hop on over and Grab the clearance stuff while you can. Um, awesome, awesome deals. So um, the link to uh, my um, site where you can order this stuff will be in the description box below. So let's get started. The first thing that I did was I took a standard card that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I folded it and we're going to work with the card this way. Then I took another piece of cherry cobbler um, cardstock and I cut this cardstock at five and a quarter by four. So that's what I cut this piece at. Then I am taking the heart, large heart stamp uh, or punch that we have, and I just kind of eyeballed it. Like I had that much about hanging off, and I didn't go quite all the way down, but you know your judgment I guess so it kind of looked like that then the next thing that I did was um, I sat this on here where I kind of wanted it to be then I got some cherry cobbler ink and I got the stamp set that was in there that says I love you or love you is what it says and I made sure this was centered and on here good and then I just stamped that right in the middle just like that I just love the way that 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 came out okay so then we're gonna let this card sit for a few minutes and dry so the what I did next was I sat um, this on here I took a gel pen and just a ruler and I used a gr my grid but you it doesn't have to be precise and you can use whatever um, if you don't have grid paper you know you can measure down but with having the grid paper it works and they do sell this grid paper in the Stampin' Up! catalog too um, and so I just went right straight across at a quarter inch all the way across on the top and then I did it on both of this, all four sides. I'll just let this sit for a couple seconds. It doesn't take too long to dry. It soaks in pretty good. So while that is drying, then we're going to take and um, we're going to get out the little Cupid that I have that is also in this stamp set and the Cherry Cobbler. And a piece of Whisper White. And I'm just going to stamp this Cupid out. I think I need to re-ink my, my Cherry Cobbler here. And then I'm taking the 1 and 3 eighths inch circle punch. And I'm going to, he fits right in there really nice. I'm going to punch him out. And then I'm just taking a sponge dauber and just lightly, not a whole lot, just so that the edge has something around it. I'm sponging. And then I'm going to attach this to a scalp circle. This is the 
one and three four scalp circle punch that we have and I'm just going to put that right in the center so it's on there like that now I went ahead and um, when my last video I had some of these hearts still left but if you didn't do the last card or anything and you don't have these hearts left then um, take and punch out um, the little heart you need two of them and then um, you need one of these kind of shorter fatter little hearts there out of the heart to heart punch so then we're gonna start assembling our card so I took some um, crocheted lace Victorian kind of lace that Stampin' Up sells and I don't really know I didn't really measure I'll measure it for you after I cut it here this one here is about 12 inches and then I end up cutting it down so um, you probably could want a little smaller I like to have a little more ribbon to make my bows with than because I have fat little fingers <laughs> so this way it gives me a little more a little more play anyways and I just kind of adjusted it where I wanted it to be and I'm gonna trim off the excess in these that what we have a little too much of okay put that back over there a little then I went and I had one of these little embellishments it's a little safety pin I think these are still in the catalog I will have to confirm that but um, if not you can buy little tiny safety pins and I just think it's cute it adds a little um, little touch to the card and so I did that then we're gonna bring this card back over and we're gonna take some um, Stampin Dimensionals and put it all over the card. Then we're just gonna line this back up. Excuse me if my head is in the way. I'm trying to, let me see, maybe it'd be easier for me because it's farther away from me. go and line that back up so it's like that Then we're going to take our little cupid here I think I'm going to put my cupid back just a little bit farther on this one so that I can hide my little bit of in my little ink blemish here. And um, I put that there. Let me. Check. Hi everybody. Um, just a little update. I decided that I, after I turned it around and looked at it in my direction, that this was just kind of really too far away from where I had it before. So I moved it up, and then I just punched out another little one of these hearts, and I put it over top of it. And I really like that a little better. So um, I just wanted to give you an update on how I changed this around. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.